we knew from single center trials that tested out CD19 directed CAR T cell therapy that it could work for patients with B cell malignancies. But as we were running the phase one and then phase two Zuma one trial, we, we saw the over 80% response rate in patients who had uh, very little chance for a response or complete response. And uh, those responses are durable. Uh, over 40% of patients remain in remission a year out with, uh, with almost a year and a half um, a follow up, median follow up. So uh, the results have been remarkable. Transitioning it to real world care has also been very rewarding. I mean, we're, we're able to treat um, any patient really that, that needs the therapy. Um, one of the main things I want to get across to, to my colleagues and all the oncologists and the whole oncology community is that it's key that these patients are referred early for consideration of CAR T cell therapy. Um, and in fact, if I was a practicing oncologist treating uh, many different patients with many diseases, if I had a lymphoma patient, as soon as they they, their lymphoma progressed through frontline RCHOP chemotherapy, their aggressive lymphoma progressed through frontline RCHOP chemotherapy, I would already be thinking about referring that patient for CAR-T because it just, it takes time. The logistics of the therapy are that it takes uh, up to four weeks from the initial consult until um, the insurance approvals and, and shipping the cells out and, and having them return. So, so you know, we really want the patients to, to come to us, the centers that are administering CAR T cell therapy, as soon as possible.